it's not the first time it has happened, but this time it seems like it is worse. And we need to ask ourselves some questions as South Africans. Um, what is it that leads our people to do this? Um, it seems like we have forgotten very quickly that um, where we were and where we come from and how these very countries, people from um, these countries that we are persecuting, killing and want to kick out from our country, that these are the very people that housed us, that educated us, that looked after us when we, were, um, when we needed help uh, during the apartheid years. Secondly, I'd also like to find out... Um, Brother, we understand that around a thousand odd Zimbabweans will be going back through Bikebridge and other border posts. Government continues to condemn the violence. We would like to start by reiterating the South African government's condemnation of the Colors Act of violent attacks and looting that have been witnessed in the past week particularly in KwaZulu-Natal and recently in Gauteng. We once again unequivocally condemn the maiming and killing of our brothers and sisters from other parts of the African continent. No amount of frustration or anger can justify these attacks and looting of shops. Economic and security risk to South Africa. Is that the government's position as well? Indeed. Our law enforcement officers on the ground are working very hard to ensure that those who are involved in acts of violence are arrested, convicted and, con and charged and convicted. So far, 307 suspects have been arrested in connections with attacks on foreign nationals and public violence across the country. The diplomatic community has been assured of our commitment to resolve the tensions and to continue to build our relations with Africa. The Department of Social Development has provided food, shelter, and other necessities to at least 1,026 displaced persons in shelters in both Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal. Thank you very much.